guys, I'm Em and I'm the founder of NapoleonSwimwear.com, a small startup e-commerce brand based out of my home apartment here in Melbourne. You might know me from TikTok at Emlucen, or you're probably like, who the heck is this squeaky ass voice blonde chick? But yeah, welcome to my first ever YouTube video. Okay, entrepreneurs know this. Because you do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. Wait, 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 let me rephrase that for you. Let's do a little edit here. Do what you love and you'll work harder than ever before. This entrepreneur life is no walk in the park. Do what you love and you'll work more than full-time hours. Owning your own business is a constant grind. Do what you love and you'll have moments of self-doubt. Wondering if anyone's gonna buy your product on launch day. Do what you love and you'll have tons of sleepless nights. Making sure that every detail is taken care of and every little thing is accounted for. Do what you love and you'll have millions of lessons to learn. But it's all worth it because at the end of the day, we do this for us. We work so hard and no one can take that away from us. Us entrepreneurs, we know. We love what we do. I just wanted to rip the band-aid off with this intro video. I have been talking about starting YouTube for like the last 12 months at least. Honestly, every day I wake up and I'm like, I'm going to start a YouTube channel today. And then I just keep putting it off. I think the fear of, you know, not knowing what to film or how to film or how to edit has really just been delaying me. And I was like, you know what, let's just come up with an intro video and get the ball rolling. It's a funny one, right? The amount of people that say to me, Em, how do you get the courage and confidence to just take risks and not worry about the consequences or what other people might think about you? And the truth is, I do overthink it. I do get nervous. Every single thing I've wanted to do, such as like starting my business or, you know, starting this YouTube account, I've definitely put off for 12 months. Like this account, I was talking about it every single day for the last year, like since the start of COVID and I just didn't do it. So we're here today, but with Napoleon Swimwear, I reckon I put that off for five years before I started. I just kept procrastinating. But I suppose in some ways I am different to others because no matter how scared I am, I do eventually take the step to, you know, starting my dreams. And I always overthink the alternative, which is just never doing. And that is much scarier to me than taking a risk now and, you know, maybe it not paying off and not working out how I may have planned. But, you know, the amount I've learned from every single risk taken has been exponential and it definitely outweighs the fear of failure. If my business doesn't go to plan or this YouTube channel doesn't go to plan, at least I'm going to learn so many different skills from just getting out there and doing. As for the fear of judgment from my friends, family and just people watching, I honestly don't really feel that. So yeah, this is the intro that I'm rolling with my first ever YouTube channel. Trust me, this is being freaking awkward, but look, the band-aid is ripped off now, the first one's over and it's only gonna get better and easier from here. Okay, come let me show you some BTS from my e-commerce boss lady life. Oof, how do I fit? Hold on. Why does it zoom in so much? Why am I blurry? Why is my face like, oh, oh God. Okay, this is what we're working with. This is YouTube. Shizen. Okay, so like I was saying earlier, I run my entire e-commerce store out of my small at-home apartment. And I just wanna show you around so you can get a bit of a gist of what I'm doing here. This is my little apartment space that me and my boyfriend Marcus live in. Um, as you can see over here, I have a whole heap of shelving, Napoleon swimwear and streetwear. Um, the top half is full of stock that is coming soon. It's actually launching on Tuesday night. And then down here is stock that's currently available. All my tie-dye sets are here, my summer tie-dye sets, which are like my best sellers at the moment. Um, and it's just, yeah, I've actually got nowhere else to put this shelf. So it is in my lounge room. Then if we come over here, you can see this is my dining room table, which is actually covered in samples pretty much all the time. Um, so this is some of the winter stuff that I'm working on. I promised myself that I wouldn't sneak peek any new stuff on YouTube, but like first video in and I'm already showing everything off, but look, whatever. So this is some stuff that I'm working on to come soon. And yeah, as you can see, this is our dining table and we have nowhere else to eat because there's no other tables in our apartment. Over here is just a box of some swimwear stock that I haven't unpacked yet. Um, the reason I haven't unpacked it yet is because I don't have any way to put it, but this is this is clean So this is my kitchen. Oh, is it going blurry as I'm walking? I'm not sure. This is very clean for our apartment like it is usually Like covered in boxes here. We've had times where the kitchen's been covered in boxes here Oh, and wait, let me show you the bathroom 
So this is our first bathroom. And as you can see, the spare shower is also covered in stock. Like, I don't want to open the shower door, but this is where I'm living. Can't shower in this shower. And it's always really awkward when we have guests over because this is like the guest toilet. They um, just have to look at my shelving all the time. So yeah, this is our first bathroom. And this is my office. I love it, it's a mess, but I love it. So this, oh, that's where I was sitting to film my intro. Oh, well, I'm not gonna clean it up now. But this is my other shelving. This is my swimwear shelving. So everything that's up here, actually everything's in stock. Everything on this shelf is currently in stock. Um, it's also just been stocked up because I had a delivery come in uh, about a week ago. So yeah, all my best sellers are back online. Um, actually not all, but some original bestsellers are back, but not my um, Break Free Butterfly Collection. I'm hoping to restock that one soon. So yeah, this is my office. This is where all the work gets done. This is my Turtle Leonardo. We just fed him, that's why the container's in there. But he's just having a little swim, or a sleep maybe. Leo, come say hello. Come say hello, Leo. Here he is, he's named after Leonardo DiCaprio, not the Ninja Turtles. Yeah. My dog Napoleon isn't here today, but he is the first CEO of Napoleon Swimwear. The whole business was named after him. He's even on my little t-shirt here today, but I'll definitely have to show him in another YouTube soon. This is my website, Woo! napoleonswimwear.com. As you can see, I've got a sign up banner here for my new streetwear collection that's launching on Tuesday night. So anyone who signs up by clicking this banner actually gets 10% off and a free gift with purchase on launch night. Um, so I'm really excited. I'm a little bit nervous about this launch, to be honest. Um, I don't think it's gonna be like the best launch I've ever had, but I really hope people like it because I'm obsessed with these sets and I put a lot of work into them. Then this messy ass desk over here is Marcus's gaming computer. I don't even touch this section of the office actually. <laughs> That is a straight up lie. Usually when Marcus gets home from work every day, I have shit all over the desk here. Like, I mean, by shit, I mean like all my posted satchels and stuff are just like covered on his desk and the poor boy has to put up with it. Um, I don't even know if I should show in here, but let's just open it up anyway. So this is more things. I have more things going on in here. And then on the other side of the, the oh God, of the um, wardrobe. I have more things. These are the clothes that I actually wear. This is my Napoleon wardrobe that I wear. Like these aren't for sale because I've been wearing them. This is all my tie-dye stuff. My new streetwear tee. Oh my God, I just love all this stuff so much. But um, yeah, it needs its own wardrobe, obviously. And this is, these are my scrunchies that are for sale, my scrunchie drawers. And this is the big basket full of bikinis and swimwear that I actually wear. So none of this is for sale. This is just like my own little wardrobe, but I do have my little, my little printing station in here. So I do print out all my postage labels here um, with my little dymo, which I'll talk to you about in another video soon. Whoa, why is it so close to my face? Can I zoom this out? Oh jeez. No, that's as far as it zooms out. I'm gonna have to get like a selfie stick or something. Anyway. by my apartment I eat sleep live breathe and literally watch TV all doing Napoleon swimwear and I've been doing this for the last three years also while having a full-time job it's been nuts it's been absolutely crazy and I'm just really excited to finally be able to show people the true insides and behind the scenes of running a small e-commerce store so yes my video is gonna get much more exciting than this one this is just the first video to like you know get it over and done with get it out of the way like let's rip that band-aid off I don't know why I've said rip that band-aid off so many times this video, but that's how I feel. You know when it's like when you have a band-aid, it's like, 
like you get so nervous to rip it off because it's going to pull your arm hairs out. That's how I feel. That's how I say, yes, yeah, so if you like this video, tap that follow button. I don't know where the follow button is because this is the first time I've posted, so I don't know where it's going to be. Give us a thumbs up, put any comments. Yeah, let's hope someone watches this. Thanks, guys.